and I was partic was part have participated to a national seminar one week, and uh, uh, our project was uh, again uh, named as uh, Good Practice One. We had again an article from the Portugal Dowry Coffer. And of course, uh, we, uh, we finished the, the blog, our blog, with a lot of help from our general coordinator. You can see here our blog and all that. You can see here our English course and Case 
sabe discussion in trainings, the discussion method made by uh, Marina Maffei. to start the training, making some exercises to warm up the atmosphere and uh, feel free to start the, the teaching. In project management, uh, lump sum uh, means a uh, uh, sum that you don't have to justify by uh, uh, okay. tickets or uh, <laughs> other uh, invoices. <laughs> this was an example of uh, this kind of exercise. It doesn't have to, to last for a long time, but uh, just in time to warm up the atmosphere. Why, trainees use, use, uh, why trainers use this game? They, the games help for helping people to get to know each other, for increasing energy or enthusiasm level, to, for encouraging team building, for making people think about a specific issue. Games that help people to get to know each other and to relax are called, uh, are called icebreakers. When people look uh, sleepy or tired, energizers can be used to get people moving and to give them more enthusiasm. Other games can be used to help people think through issues and can help to address problems that people may encourage when they are working together. Games can, can also help people to, to think creativity and literally. The trainees have to pick and choose those uh, that are most appropriate for their specific purpose and context. When energizers, as uh, the name suggests, are used to revitalize and awaken trainees, uh, we use it after a large amount of information has been delivered, after a meal when participants may be feeling uh, tired. Energizers are also a fantastic uh, way to switch attention from uh, one topic to a completely different one. Such a game does not have to take a lot of time of uh, your training. It is important to inform 
the two as uh, as to why you are using a particular particular game. So the meaning of the game should uh, always be explained to your trainees either before or after the game has been played. The number of participants will affect the length of time it takes to run a game. As the larger number, the longer the game will take. Will, uh, take. Not all the games are suited to every, every training environment. It is best to be your available space before deciding what or deciding on the games that uh, you are to play. Also, make sure that the environment is safe for the activities you plan to carry on. Double check everything before you begin your session. Keep the, keep the briefing brief. Many trainees have uh, tendencies to give much detail in the explanation often because uh, they wish to point participants in the right direction. However, any advice about how the game should be played undermines the purpose in uh, playing it. Players learn by doing rather than listening. Keep to the rules. Remember that the benefit of running trainees is that uh, it transfers the power from the trainer to participants and this should include the power to make mistakes. As a trainer, you should simply monitor the, the game. If you feel someone is not copying, find an effective yet uh, sub, subtle, sub, subtle way to, to end the game. Always provide the opportunity for people to sit, to sit out. It is essential to be prepared to play through a different game with no notice. Remember, that uh, not all games fit all scenarios. Keep uh, foremost, foremost in uh, your mind the fact that everyone likes to learn different, 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 different. You will also have to, uh, have to factor in the culture and practical factors as uh, your design of the workshop them, themselves. So, this is about uh, my my work here. And now, as Alex said, we had to prepare uh, uh, the training session. So uh, I thought that will be very nice for you to see how uh, is the waiting in, uh, in our uh, country. So, uh, especially if uh, in these two years we had uh, a lot of weddings in our association, everyone was getting married, we used uh, the, last, uh, the last wedding to, to show you the tradition that we had uh, in, uh, in, uh, in this time. So, tradition Like traditional Romanian weddings today. Uh, Decades uh, decade again, weddings were done only on Sunday, and uh, until World War I kept two or three days. The wedding entire, the wedding was about three days. Now it's only one, of course. If the groom knew that uh, he is liked by the girl, he went to his parents and uh, to the girl's house and demanded her from the parents. This was long ago. Now we had, of course, the engagement ring. You see here the godfathers, then and now. The first uh, tradition was uh, dressing the bride. As you can see, we had a special song. You can we had a special song and uh, you can listen to the, the song that uh, it was made for 
dressed by the, the maid? Certain. Certain. There's a lot of, of, of tears. <laughs> you can see here the, the bride many, many years ago. And then uh, our new last bride, Mihaila. Of course, uh, you had uh, here the, the, the groom, the groom, dressing the groom. And of course, he has also a song. Everyone has a song when he's dressing up. Every <laughs> day. This was more. Uh, uh, Magic. Yes. Magic.
Godfathers. The bridal veil picking is the moment when uh, the bride uh, renounces uh, at the vow. Uh, now she she has to be uh, a married woman, and uh, and uh, the vow is uh, put on the head uh, on the head of uh, another bridesmaid who is okay. supposed to get uh, married. Uh, Yes. Yeah, very good. How we say 
button in the left. Green button. Green button on the left of the screen. This is a floating button. It's a green uh, it's a green button with a arrow. With an arrow. But I 
I hope you enjoy the meeting. I was uh, waiting for you, but I don't think she can come to my house. And she's getting better today, it's the uh, last day of treatment. So uh, I hope that everything goes well with her as well. I had a, a, a film. Miguel is preparing the film. He's sending me text, text messages and he's saying that the film is to the film is to have the his computer is not responding to the to the to the photos of the film we wanted to we wanted to put in there. Uh, anyway, uh, I prepared a PowerPoint presentation to to show you. Well, in fact, it was prepared to show you the symposium uh, in Brazil in April that Alex asked us to, to do. Uh, but I uh, updated it with information from the Vilonga, with some photos with the meeting in Vilonga. I don't know why now I can't share the screen share thing here with, in my PC. I just sent the email to the, I just sent Manolo's email with the PowerPoint. I don't know if he wants to to, to show it to you. Um, it's yeah, of course, Paula. Uh, I will open your email and uh, you can present and I can move to the next slide, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Phil. Okay. So, we, we will see... What? Now, the okay, first slide, yes. Hola, can you see the presentation? The yes, 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 yes. Yes, I can see it. Uh, so, uh, so, this is the first slide of the PowerPoint. Um, you can go to... In this, in this PowerPoint, we try to, to show how we work, how we see this project, not only in our institution, in Bielonga, but also in, uh, as a whole. Uh, as um, it gives us the idea how we, we ourselves see the project and also how we involve uh, ourselves in all the activities, the plans and, and perform uh, throughout these two, two years. Uh, you can go to the slide number two, please. Uh, in this first PowerPoint, I, I intend to, to show uh, the, the objectives, the main goals of our, this, our seminars in these two years. Can you please click again, Manolo? Yes, uh, didn't you see the text? Isn't there a text? In the previous slide. Ah, uh, uh, okay, yes, I didn't see the, the okay, so what do we in seminar that they are about that they are uh, mainly uh, an intercultural dialogue um, they are intended for adults and um, we also uh, consider that uh, it has some teaching adults uh, in our methodologies and we um, and they are actively based teaching approaches both e learning and be learning uh, in the next slide, uh, we show how we, in our institution, uh, develop the project in the uh, in matters of basic education. So we promoted uh, a e-learning course uh, in which we we taught uh, our teachers some uh, needed programs for their professional lives. Uh, they intended to improve. Uh, their ICT-based skills and also to uh, improve their um, professional, they try to, to foster professional development skills. The other uh, course we get in the next slide, we can also see, can you please move? Okay. Uh, we also have a, an English language course to improve our vocabulary knowledge of the English grammar and vocabulary, uh, to improve their listening and reading skills, to... Paula, sorry, it's in 
not Antarctica your course? Sorry? Uh, your course is organized in Antarctica? <laughs> uh, yes, it was in January. <laughs> we don't forget that we don't have air conditioning. Our school is very poor. Uh, so we also have this um, English course for adults, which we uh, know that adults are very, they are not very confident in uh, themselves to, to speak a, a foreign language and uh, we had some adults traveling so we decided to, to, to implement this English uh, language course in this uh, school year. Um, and uh, in the next slide, we managed to include the main objective of this, uh, of this uh, project, uh, which was uh, to learn foreign languages and at the same time um, being aware of the, not only their uh, our traditions, but the other partners of uh, who are including these project traditions. And I think we, we managed to do it quite well in our school because we, in, in our institution, because we were able to involve uh, the majority of the school in our project uh, and visibility was great. Uh, and it, um, people became more interested in this, uh, in this kind of activity. Um, so, in the last slide, uh, we just shared at the moment what we learned uh, in these seminars, in these meetings. We learned about the, our astronomy, uh, our country's astronomy, which is, uh, which is great. Uh, in the next slide, uh, in the next slide, uh, we show you uh, the traditions of uh, what we did, what we what we managed to reach within these seminars was to to show the others uh, our each our own traditions and also in the next slide. Uh, that was when I was updated in Portugal. Uh, the the tiles uh, workshop and the jewelry workshop as well, and all the participants, the others involved in learning, in in getting to know better the, uh, what each one has to offer, and what we think in the next slide is this that. These our seminars were uh, great for learning together because we can learn a lot with each other and at the same time uh, know what other people think and uh, how they live, how we live, how, how what we believe, and that is what we uh, did about uh, in these two years. It was learning together uh, to be friends, and that is why also I, I regret not being in Fakush in this last meeting. I really, really, I'm feeling I'm very sad. But. And the film Miguel is preparing is not ready yet. I will send it to Alex as soon as it is ready. I hope during this day, during the day, uh, you have the chance to see it, if not in Greece, at your home, uh, in the platform. And that is what I have for now.
Yes. We published the needs of our meeting in Romania, Cyprus and Portugal, in different local newspapers and local and national websites. We prepared posters for our project and posted them on visible places in our dependent institutions. Here are some samples of these news. We as Custom National Education Director prepared some promotional materials for the dissemination of our project, such as posters, logo for the project, leaflets, traditional design plot pack, which carries the name of the project as well as the common shapes of photography, pens, and etc. And our educational activities. We chose trainings for embroidery, for patchwork, and for A1 English courses, and the last course of project. The one which first is organizing from the beginning of May. As our first educational activity, we started teaching English to our trainees at a basic level in our traditional courses. We observed their language development. Our embroidery course is still going on, and I think it is uh, going to finish next week. Yeah, next week. Here are some pictures from courses. Our uh, adult learners. And we combine our project to the uh, courses of our public education center. Practice activity. We first made a research about applicable handicraft areas in our city. In addition, we tried to learn what and that what kind of handicrafts are made for economical gain. We use this as another motivation for the trainings. We work in coordination uh, with our dependent institutes and we organize our courses in custom of public education centers. We visit the handicraft courses and we inform the people about our project and we offer to use our LMS for their education courses. They enroll to the courses and got their accounts for the LMS. Also, we are encouraging them to find ways for using English besides handicrafts they may. For our next program, we are thinking of opening a model house course. We still uh, couldn't find enough learners for this course. Though there is no specific model for model house course, we are planning to use the educational video about how to make a model house, which has prepared for our ex project. We have a use of that video we have seen. The reunion in, in custom was not in our steel with. Uh, 34 guests from our partner countries, our director, director organized the reunion and all partners thank us because of their successful reunion. The concepts deal with the adult education examine and we try to find effective ways combining the traditions with education. Here are some samples.
according to the experience of Desarus, we uh, have some outcomes. Sources. 
Where can you get the necessary tools while doing the science process keep it on the system? And how to avoid the values? The following learning values are the common effects of education education as the negative perception about learning is able to The first one is shame. The second one is fear. And the final one is emotional sensitivity. Emotional regulation. Difficulty adjusting to change. And after you start, language learning is fun, but if you want to succeed, you need to be motivated. If you are active during this process, you will be more successful. Your courage may be broken, or you may still be disappointed when you face the difficulties. Don't forget that many people may face these learning difficulties. Try to make overcome <coughs> this future or take a break sometime so that it will help you start again with a new energy. Practical information. Don't try to learn everything right away. Choose a clear and realistic course and determine your own pace. Be open to new ways of learning new methods. New technologies can help you. Use every opportunity to use this language. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You can reduce your errors regularly. The main issue is that you can transfer anything you want. Repeat what you learn and follow your progress on a regular basis. And uh, the benefits of our system, LMS. Centralized learning, tracking and recording features, evaluation capabilities, easy upgrades, and simplified learning process. And that's all. Here are some samples of our project. Thank you very much. Additionally, the aim was to address the lack of alternative ways of 
of information technology. Uh, we made uh, in the past two years, we organized and carried out a total of 12 other courses, workshops. Uh, we still have uh, two more that we are working on. Uh, out of the 12 workshops, less two are currently being held, while the themes of first 10 workshops were resources and building 
government needs to um, help them. This is one of the main reasons why younger generations tend not to invest their uh, efforts in this kind of area. Uh, now I need to move to the other presentations. Um, as I told, we have a German and Croatian language course. Uh, 
making in Lepoglava began producing in the late 19th century, reaching uh, its golden age between two world wars. Uh, during this time, the race won many competitions and at international exhibitions, like in Paris in 1937, it won a gold medal and two years later a bronze medal in Berlin. Every year in September, in September, in honor of the town's lace making culture, there is held an international lace festival. We have some pictures of the festival and the lace. <laughs> uh, the second one is Pak. Uh, they made uh, lace made of needles, with needles. Uh, Pak lace is made by needle point and consists, consists of spider web pattern uh, and numbers of geometrical models. The finished product is very firm and unlike other pressure lace, laces can be washed. Pad lace was shown in number, numerous exhibitions around the world in London, New York, Budapest, Belgrade, uh, Vienna, Milan, Milan, Prague and the uh, other one. Uh, lace in Pad is still more made today in traditional fashion from centuries ago and the school has opened to keep the lace making traditional life. So they have students who learn how to Product, how to make that kind of a lace. Mm -hmm. Here is a picture of someone. And the third one is quad. Uh, quad lace is unique uh, uh, in that the thread is collected from the aloe leaves of a garlic plants that grow on the island. This is uh, aloe. Oops. The leaves are picked at a certain time of the year and uh, they are uh, and then specially proceed uh, to produce a thin white thread. Uh, the Benedictine nuns in the town of Lai are the only one who makes the Tuar lace, which is also called a uh, The second one is Lisita. Lisita. Uh, I think in the last reunion out I was talking about Lisita, Lisita Susat, it's called. So maybe we can skip that. With hearts, with uh, red hearts. Yeah.
and also Paula, 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 we need the Portuguese language course. Portuguese language course to put uh, on LMS from your team. All right. So Paula, we, we still need the Portuguese language course to be online. The Portuguese language course, is it, is it online on the platform? You think so? Oh, okay. It was a reminder for you. you we need it for, for the final products. Okay, okay. Ah, no, no, no. I, I, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, check uh, the, the platform the last three days because I uh, waited. But now... <laughs> okay.
the other um, regions as well, um, like this one, and we have updated our site um, with, uh, with the, most, um, the latest um, news about the project, like the uh, submission of the paper, and I will show you afterwards.
uh, perfumes and stuff like that. So let's see. I was very brief, I promise. Yes, okay. very brief. <laughs>